Let's talk briefly about OneSearch. You may have noticed on the library homepage a, uh, a search box featured prominently at the top of the page. Um, this is OneSearch. And OneSearch allows you to search across a wide range of different ECU libraries' resources using only a single search. Um, before trying the search, though, let's talk briefly about the materials that you'll find, the materials that you're searching through um, when you use OneSearch. Um, for one thing, you're going to find the entire library catalog in OneSearch, which means everything that's housed here physically in the building is findable using OneSearch, including our books, our movies, our government documents, our microforms. Um, in addition to that content, you're also going to find um, a vast range of, of journal content um, pulled from the, the databases and the journal packages that we subscribe to. You're also going to find, in addition to that, um, all of the ebooks that the journal library subscribes to. Uh, so naturally, when you use OneSearch, you're doing a really big search through a lot of material. Um, the obvious advantage there is that there's a good chance something that's useful to your research is going to be in your search results. Uh, the challenge is that when you're searching through so many tens of millions of records, it can also uh, it can often be the case that that perfect item is buried in your search results and can be difficult to find. Um, fortunately, OneSearch provides a a pretty robust set of tools to allow you to limit and narrow your search to find those materials you need a little more quickly. Let's have a look at that now. Okay, we're now on the library homepage. I'm going to go ahead and click on search, do a blank search to give you a, a sense of what OneSearch looks like. As you can see, your, your search results display prominently down the center of the page, and you have a range of different limiters and tools available on the left side menu here. So let's start with a sample search. Um, let's say we were interested in hipster culture. Hipster culture. And here's our initial set of search results. As you can see, there's over 38,000. Uh, these results include uh, journal articles, uh, magazine articles, books and ebooks, newspaper articles, book reviews. Notice also that your search results are sorted by default um, by relevance. So if you wanted to, uh, to sort by date newest, you had that option. Date oldest, you have that option. Or are you only interested in a particular date range? Um, well, you have that option down here where you can select a, a start date, say 2005, and then a stop date, which by default is to present. And that narrowed our results down to just under 26,000. If you were only interested in, say, articles from scholarly journals, you could select the scholarly and peer-reviewed link. And everything that's not from a scholarly or peer-reviewed journal should be weeded out of your search results. This has brought us down to just a little over 1,100 search results. So when you hover over a title, you'll see in the right-hand pane here, this box opens up, where you're going to find a an abstract or summary of what the article contains. In addition to that, you're going to find publication information, such as the journal that the article was published in, the publisher, volume and issue number, subject headings that were assigned to this particular piece. Notice up at the top, though, you'll see three buttons. All three of these can be really useful when you're doing your research. If you want to read the article, you can just click Read Online. And if we own the content, a full PDF scan of the article should appear. In this case, we're going to want to click the, the full text PDF to, uh, to pop that open. You can create citations for this particular article. And as you can see, there's a, there's a list of citations that you can choose from. Let's say we wanted APA. We now have an APA citation for this article, which we can then copy-paste over to our references page. Um, you can see there's a range of other styles available, and an export button. So you can export the citation to any bibliographic citation management software that you use, uh, for example, RefWorks. And then finally, there's an email button where you can email yourself this particular record. If the full text is available, um, there'll be a link in the email that you're sent that will bring you directly to the full text. Finally, note that OneSearch has a folder system. So if you're doing extended research and you want to select several items for possible inclusion in your research, you can mark items by clicking on the folder beside their names.
And then at any time during your research session, you can click on the folder and you'll see your items, which you can then create citations for all at once, export to RefWorks all at once, or you can email yourself all those records at once. Uh, can save you time, um, but do note that this is a temporary folder. So when you log out of uh, OneSearch, you're going to lose all those results that you saved. So be sure to, uh, to email yourself those first. If you have any questions about OneSearch, um, or you need assistance doing your research, um, please ask a librarian.